Hello, today we're going to be making onion and courgette bhajis. A good way of using up raw courgettes. This is the second in our series of videos on what to do with your courgettes. As you can see, I've got quite a big one here and my allotment is still producing courgettes. So what you will need is about four onions. You can see I've got five here, but these two are quite small. They are homegrown ones. You want the same quantity in courgette. Spices you will need um, are cumin, turmeric, garam masala, curry powder and some coriander. You will also need some flour. Gram flour is recommended but I can't get hold of it where we are and plain flour works just fine. And some oil for frying. Okay, let's get cracking. Right, you will need a big bowl, and this is the easiest recipe. Chop everything up and put it in the bowl. The worst part of this for me is chopping the onions. I always cry with onions, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel these. chop and then I'm going to just put them into a food processor. Don't want them too small. My eyes are watering already. Just roughly chopping and I'll come back when they are done. Okay I've got my chopped roughly chopped onions and I'm going to just pop them in here. I have weighed these and there are roughly 420 grams. So I'm just going to put these on pulse and chop them up a little bit. about 30 seconds. I'm going to leave them in here otherwise the fumes of the onions are going to make me cry. And the next thing we're going to do is the courgette. The courgette will be grated and we have this big one. It's up to you whether you um, skin the courgette or not before you grate it. I won't be today. There are some things it's nice to skin them for, like um, cakes, if you're making a chocolate courgette cake. Then that's nice. Now, and you see that all right? Yep. Just going to scrape out the seeds. It's all nice and soft, very easy. There we go. All right, I'm not going to show you how to grate because you all know how to do that. What I've done is I have chopped the courgette into quarters to make it easier to grate. I just wanted to show you this handy little pot we got from Ikea years ago. It has, um, it has a lid that fits snugly as well. So if you've grated too much cheese or whatever, you can put the lid on and pop it in the fridge. And it all fits over compactly. And there's another one of these that's a small grater and that just sits on the back side. And um, so it can sit in your cupboard or drawer like that, it's very handy. Right, I will come back when I have finished grating these. Okay, here is all the courgette. I actually only needed half of that big courgette. So what I will do is peel the other half and use it to make probably some chocolate muffins. That'll make Rose happy. I'm now going to add in the onion.
Now we're going to add the flour. I have these wonderful little scales, they are only cheap. Um, you can zero them. You want about 600 grams of flour. Obviously gram flour is going to taste nicer, but as I said, we can't get it. That's covered up all the onions, which is good for me. Now we need one um, tablespoon of garam masala. And one ta uh, tablespoon of ground cumin. smell of that one and one teaspoon of turmeric and two dessert spoons of curry powder this is just a generic one we have Starting to smell really lovely, and then just about that much <laughs> very technical coriander leaf. Okay, now we're going to mix this all together, coat all of the um, veg in the flour and spices and then what we're going to do once that's coated is we're going to add a little bit of water to um, make like a thick pasty mix so we're going to be dropping these into oil I don't like deep frying um, so I'm going to do like a, a medium fry which means flipping these over. It's probably not as not any difference health wise, but as you can see, this is making a big batch, and it's for us certainly it's worth making a big batch and spending an hour or so in the kitchen, and then freezing them, and then you can just take them out anytime you want them. We'll certainly, <clears throat> excuse me, be having some tonight with our curry. Right, water. Right, that's done. Hopefully you can see the consistency. It is quite thick. I've added about two of these, um, just little glass tumblers, very technical, to the mix of water. Now I've got on the heat, let me move the camera, some oil and what you want to do is uh, just to test if it's hot enough, just get a little bit and Very sticky. Right, that has started to bubble. So I'm going to start putting these in. Um, have a plate ready to take these off. I also like to have a um, bowl of warm soapy water ready so I can intermittently wash my hands. You want about golf ball size. And in my wok I've got, oh, I don't know, it's definitely not an inch of oil. 
you can see they're just sort of doing the bottom half and then usually by the time I've made enough for one round and wash my hands the first one is ready to turn over a little bit fell off that one that'll be my taste test right just going to wash my hands All right, let's see how this first one is doing Not quite ready. If you like barges and you make these, let me know what you think. We've also got another video out where we made carrot and leek barges. And the funny thing was, uh, Rose doesn't like courgettes or onions or spices, and she likes these and she likes carrots and leeks are obviously milder and while she ate the carrot and leek one she didn't like them as much as these but frustratingly nick preferred the leek and carrot ones so but leek and carrot were the last ones i made so it's rose's turn to have her favorite now I will flip them back again after these have um, cooked on this side just to brown them off a little bit more. As you can see. Okay, rather than you sitting there watching these cook, I shall come back when I'm taking them out. Right, I think the first lot are ready to come out. Oh, oh, there's my tester piece. So obviously I have quite a big batch of um, mixture to get through. So what I will do is I will continue on with that and come back and show you the end product. There we go, 36 delicious onion and courgette barges. That should last us a while. These do freeze really well and then we just take them out of the freezer and pop them in the oven where we want to eat them. Do let me know if you give them a try. They're absolutely lovely. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.